Hey there, my name's Gary Sims and this is Gary Explains. Now today is the 14th of March 2019 and of course if you say it is March the 14th you get the first three digits of pi 3.14. So today is pi day and today on pi day I want to look at how you can calculate pi using an infinite series. So if you want to find out more please let me explain. Okay, so last year I showed for Pi Day how you can calculate Pi using a micro SD card and a bowl or a dish from your kitchen. And this year I want to look at how you calculate Pi using the Neil Kunth uh, infinite series. Now he was a mathematician from I think the 15th century and he came up with this infinite series that converges towards Pi. Now an infinite series is a set of sums that could be addition or uh, subtraction for example that goes on for an infinite uh, number of terms. It has no end to it. So for example, one half plus one quarter plus one eighth plus one sixteenth plus, and then you just keep on going down the line, you'll see that that never ends. The numbers you can keep adding to it uh, will have uh, an infinite number of possibilities. But there are some properties about these different uh, infinite series. Some of them diverge away to infinity itself, and some of them converge towards a number. So for example, one half plus one quarter plus one eighth plus one sixteenth uh, converges towards one. It never reaches one, but it gets very close to one. Now the series we're going to look at today actually gets close to pi, which means the more terms you add on to it, the more accurate number you get for pi. And in fact, it's a very quick way with a small Python program, which I'll show you at the end, where you can work out, you know, let's say 10, 12, or even more terms uh, of uh, the pi series just by running uh, this uh, series over a number of terms. Now, of course, pi is itself uh, infinite, there has no end, there's no repetition, and of course an infinite series has no end. So you'll never find the answer to what is pi, because we can't, but you can find it to so many decimal places. So let's have a deeper look at this infinite series. Okay, so let's have a look at this series. Here it is, it's three plus four divided by two times three times four, minus four divided by four times five times six, plus four divided by six times seven times eight, minus four divided by eight times nine times 10, and so on. So a few things to observe. First of all, the plus and the minus changes. So you start by addition, then you go to subtraction, addition, subtraction, addition, subtraction, and so on. It's always four divided by something, and it's always three numbers in sequence, two, three, four, four, five, six, seven, uh, six, seven, eight, and it starts with every even number. So two, four, six, eight, and so on. So when you start to use this, you, it starts to converge towards pi. So if you look at the first iteration here, we have three plus four divided by two times three times four, which is four divided by 24, which gives us 0 0.1666 recurring. So that gives us 3.1666. Now, obviously that's not very accurate. We want 3.14 at least at the beginning here. So we go to our second iteration. We've got it four divided by four times five times six, which is four divided by 120, which is 0 0.033333. So now it's a minus. So now we've gone down again. So now we're at 0 0.1333333 recurring. We're still not at 1.4. The third iteration, we're back to plus, it becomes four over 336, which is 0.0119, 0.4761, which gives us 3.145. So we're kind of getting now into the right ballpark. In the fourth iteration, it's four over 720, which is uh, 0.0555 recurring, which now takes us down to just below 3.14. Then in the fifth generation iteration, we've got four over 1,320, which gives us 0.0030030, which is 3.142. So we can see that after five iterations, we're starting now to get a number that we are familiar with. In fact, after eight iterations, you'll get 3.141. That is a pretty good number. After 32 iterations, we've got 3.1415. After 45 uh, iterations, we've got 3.14159. And then actually, if you use a 15,000 uh, terms in this infinite series, you'll get 3.14159265358989, which is 12 decimal places. So you can work out pi to 12 decimal places by our uh, doing uh, 15,000 terms. Okay, I promise I'll show you the Python program for calculating uh, this series. We use the decimal library from Python allows you to do uh, high precision floating point calculations. We set the precision here 
to 50. We've got a couple of variables, i for counting the iterations, pi is the running uh, total of the infinite series, and plus or minus just a little flag to show whether we should be adding the next term or taking it away. We jump into a loop here. We say if it is the uh, plus uh, flag, then do pi is equal to pi plus four divided by i, i plus one and i times two all multiplied together. So this is, this is if this was two, it'd be two, three, four. If this was 10, it would be 10, 11, 12. And then we uh, add two onto that and go round the loop again. We uh, switch the flag here to make sure the next time round it's minus. And these two lines here, all they do is just basically print out pi every 500 iterations. So we're not watching a blank screen. So let's just give it a quick run. So we do Python and then we've got our series here. As it starts to run, we can see how the accuracy is growing, uh, and it right down to the very bottom here, we'll see that we've got up to 12 decimal places. We can see eight, nine, eight, eight there, eight, nine, and there we go, that's our final one, just after about uh, i of equal to uh, 15,000 uh, there. Okay, so there it is. So the more you run it, the longer you run that for, the more accuracy you'd get down the rest of these figures for giving pi. And this is on a Raspberry Pi Zero, so it doesn't take that long to run. If you're running it on a, on a desktop computer, this would run really quite quickly. Now the question is how accurate do we really need pi to be? Well, if we're talking about things here on Earth, if we're trying to calculate the circumference of the Earth, for example, using 3.14, you're gonna to get to an accuracy of around about 500 kilometers. If you use 3.1415, that's four decimal places, that accuracy drops down quite quickly to, uh, increases, sorry, to six kilometers. Uh, and then 3.141592, six decimal places, you get an accuracy to 25 meters. Eight decimal places will give you an accuracy to less than one meter. And then if you're using 11 decimal places, we calculated 12, 314592653588 will give you an accuracy with actually within less than one tenth of a, of a millimeter, in fact. So obviously for anything here on earth, if you calculate with, you know, 11, 12 places, you're gonna be very, very accurate. If you wanna go out to maybe the size of the solar system or something like that, you might start to use 20, 30 or 40 places. But for me and you, for our normal day calculations, I think just 11 out uh, 12 places is enough. And we've calculated that they're using that infinite series. Okay, there you have it. So we've looked a bit at Pi on this Pi Day 2019. I really hope you enjoyed this video. My name is Gary Sims. This is Gary Explains. Please do give the video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. And always it's good to hit that notification icon so that you know when I drop a new video. Okay, that's it. I'll see you in the next one.